Welcome to the All That Jazz Stress Relief Podcast, now available on iTunes. Hey guys, I'd love to get the revamp of the show recognized as new and noteworthy, so please take a moment to review the podcast. That helps people dig my vibe and spread the word. The show is brought to you by the companion book, Do The Thing. If you want to boost your energy, manage stress and time, and reduce your pain, buy the book, Do The Thing, by Robert Chute. That's me. Available on Amazon. On today's podcast, I have another podcast recommendation. I'll teach you the wonders of the scapular slide, and we'll do a short exercise in progressive muscle relaxation combined with a breathing visualization to help you fall asleep tonight. Your time is valuable, so let's get started right away. First, the scapular slide. Now, you have two shoulder blades in your back that you pretty much ignore all the time. However, they're very important for their placement. If one is sticking out, for instance, it's called winging. That means that your a muscle called the serratus anterior is weak. Um, some people have postural distortions where one shoulder blade is high and the other one is low. Um, there's a, a lot of physical dynamics that are going on with the placement of your shoulder blades. One of the things about posture analysis we look for is how high the shoulders are and the relationship between the muscles that are working in the back and the muscles that are working in the front. The relationship between your rhomboids, the muscles between your shoulder blades, and your pectoralis muscles, which tend to pull your shoulders forward if your rhomboids aren't working well enough, aren't active enough. So I won't get into all the technical theory behind uh, the postural distortions and postural analysis. I'm going to give you one simple thing to do. And when you do this, you're going to see a difference. You're going to feel a difference right away. Wherever you are, I'll ask you to stand up. And I'm going to ask you to do something silly. Imagine that your shoulder blades are sliding down your back. That's all. Just do that. No theory, just make it experiential. When you did that, what did you notice? Did your shoulder blades feel like they were sliding down your back? Did your shoulders drop a little bit? Did the tension across the top of your shoulders ease a little bit? Did you notice your weight come back a little bit in your feet, so more toward the heels and less toward the front? For a large percentage of the listeners to this podcast doing this exercise, you noticed a change. You noticed a positive change where your shoulders got more relaxed or your shoulders fell back or your sh- it really felt like your shoulder blades were melting down your back, relaxing down your back. It changed your posture. It changed the muscle tension through your shoulder girdle. All those muscles working so hard for you all the time got a little bit of a break. So try this exercise. Whenever you're feeling tense, whenever you're in tense situations, take a deeper breath and imagine your shoulder blades sliding down your back. And as your neck muscles release and relax and your shoulder muscles release and relax and all that musculature that works so hard for you all the time, releases and relaxes, softens and lengthens. You now know the beauty and the benefit of the scapular slide. It's a simple thing, but it's a really good thing. Everybody needs to do the scapular slide on a regular basis. I would suggest that you try it every time you hit a red light. Get, let a, a red light when you're driving be your cue to do the scapular slide. Every time you hear your baby scream and um, they want to be fed, as you walk up to their crib to rescue them from their crib, do the scapular slide on your way. Any stressful situation, you see your boss coming your way and she or he has that look on their face, do the scapular slide. Because the truth is, there are very few stressful situations that you will face where tighter muscle through your neck and shoulders will help you. Instead, 
tighter muscle through your neck and shoulders will decrease your range of motion, increase incidence of stress headaches or tension headaches, and generally sap energy and make you feel more miserable. So keep that in mind. The scapular slide is your friend. And next I want to make a podcast recommendation because as I said, we're going to fly through this because your time is valuable. I want to talk to you a little bit briefly about the Cracked Podcast. The Cracked Podcast is one of the smarter podcasts out there, and it's one that I make sure that I listen to when I go on long walks because they uh, tackle some interesting topics, they talk, tackle some funny topics, they make uh, topics that you don't think funny uh, much more interesting. And their latest podcast is called The Enormous Lie About Modern Life, and in brackets, you likely believe. Um, they have a really interesting conversation, and a um, uh, spoiler alert, I, I'm, I'm not going to um, uh, hold back on you. What they're talking about, that enormous lie about modern life that you most likely believe, is progress. They argue that progress is being made, things are getting better, generally, and I don't know that I agree with everything that's said in the podcast, but I did find that it was a spectacular lesson in maintaining perspective. I know there's a lot of bad news in the news. There's a lot of worry and concern and fear, and there is a lot of valid reason to be concerned. And uh, I hope that all those concerns motivate people to do things about their concerns and confront their fears and make the world a safer place. But in this latest Cracked podcast, it might give you some stress relief to know that things aren't as bad as they appear. Things are much better than they have been in the past and things are improving. Uh, it's, um, it's not as bad as you might think. And if you have a steady diet where you're, all you're listening to on social media, for instance, or the news is a bad news, then it might skew your perspective. Something that really lightened my load this week in an unexpected way was I saw the uh, NASA, is it a NASA probe? There is a probe, anyway, a space probe that um, landed on Titan. And it is amazing. As the probe lands, you actually see the shadow of the probe's parachute across the frame. In a world where sometimes it's easy to think that intellectualism is mocked and um, smart people are just the, 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 the nerd squad and uh, things are getting really bad and who cares... Uh, who cares about science because, you know, there's people who are promoting very anti-scientific ideas, unscientific ideas. Um, it, it really gave me uh, a, a little bit of hope when I saw that they had actually landed a probe on Titan and as an amazing achievement. And, you know, there are a lot of other planets in the universe, there's moons in the, the, uh, that uh, uh, billions upon billions, uncountable billions of moons that we can still land on. But they landed on one, and it was oh, so fascinating that they achieved that. And I just saw it on Facebook. I, you know, it's amazing to me that we have 24-hour news channels, but they don't have time to cover something as amazing as that. Anyway... Um, I, I just wanted to share with you that you really need to listen to the Cracked Podcast if you're feeling down, and if you're just curious, intellectually curious, uh, there's a lot in the archive that you're going to enjoy. And having said all that, let's move on to a talk about progressive muscle relaxation. And a quick visualization might sound a little bit silly, but it might help you fall asleep. Sure helps me. <laughs> Oh, and uh, one more thing. I just paused the podcast because I didn't want to give out bad information, so I hopped on the internet and I checked something, and I just found out something amazing. I learned something today. That uh, probe that uh, went to um, Saturn's moon, Titan, that was actually in 2005. 
And it wasn't NASA. It was the European Space Agency. So uh, it was called the Hugens. It's, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. H-U-Y-G-E-N-S. Um, anyway, it was a uh, atmospheric entry probe that landed successfully on Saturn's moon, Titan, in 2005. So uh, if you uh, look that up, I'm sure you'll find the video of that, and it is definitely worth watching because, hey, how often do you get to see another world, pristine and untouched? It's uh, rocky, and it, uh, unlike uh, Mars, it doesn't look like Utah without oxygen. It's fascinating. So go check out uh, uh, the video of the Hugens Atmospheric Probe, that's H-U-Y-G-E-N-S, um, from, launched by the European Space Agency in 2005. So I just wanted to uh, get the details right on that mission, because I'm sure that some of you want to look that up. Now, let's get back to our planet and talk about progressive muscle relaxation. And sorry for the uh, uh, the mistake. I want to make sure that I give you some good stuff to go check out. Uh, so let's move on with the third phase and final phase of our mission on this podcast. I'm going to ask you to lay down in your bed, pull the covers up and get comfy and warm and relaxed. Get the pillow just the way you like it, cool side up. And let's start with you laying on your back and take a deep breath. And another deeper, slower breath. And now, I'll ask you to bring your attention down to your feet. And I'm going to ask you to scrunch up your toes really tight. And feel that tension build and then release it. As your toes relax, all the muscles of your toes relax. And I'll ask you to do that again a little harder this time. Scrunching up your toes tight and relaxing them. And one more time, scrunching up your toes tight, tighter, tighter, and relaxing them. And I'll ask you to bring your attention down to the arch of your foot and squeeze a little bit more so you get a little bit more tension through your feet and then relax. And feel the difference between now and a moment ago. Now, one thing you have to watch out for is make sure that you totally relax after the full contraction. Sometimes when people tighten up their muscle, they still keep it half rela- half, half uh, contracted. They don't really go to the full relaxation phase of the exercise. They just stay half contracted. So you want to go to full contraction, full release. There's an interesting trick about muscle is just like when you make a fist really tight and then after you relax it, it feels more relaxed uh, than it did before. Uh, Part of that is uh, blood coming back into the uh, tissue. And part of it is that after you go to a full contraction of um, any kind of muscle, any kind of skeletal muscle, it gets more relaxed after the full contraction. So you're actually retraining the muscle to be longer, softer, and more relaxed. So that's what you're doing with your feet, just like uh, you do with uh, a fist. In fact, let's try that now. Bunch up your hands so you're making a tight fist, really tight, and sustain that tension, sustain that contraction, and now relax it. And feel the difference through your hands as the muscle is more relaxed. And try that again. Tight, 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 tight. Tighter and relax it. And if you'd like, you can even do the scapular slide while lying down. I know you're lying on top of your shoulder blades. You probably won't 
notice a whole lot of difference as far as your posture goes, but you'll bring down your tension if all you do is imagine your shoulder blades are sliding down your back. You might notice that your shoulders drop back a little bit toward the bed. Now that we have tightened up our fists and relaxed them, and now that we've tightened up our toes and our feet and relaxed them, and now that we've done the scapular slide and begun to relax, I'll ask you to soften the tension around your jaw. Just with your awareness, don't have to do a thing. Just notice the tension in your jaw and let it go. And notice the tension around your eyes and let that go. Very often, you don't even have to do any progressive muscle relaxation. You don't even have to do a contraction to get the relaxation. It's all this unconscious tension that once you bring your awareness to it, you can bring the tension down. It's just a question of having a cue, someone telling you some kind of cue that will get you to be aware of the tension, and then you can begin to let it go. If you want to wiggle your jaw a little bit, you can let the tension go that way. But just let the muscles around your eyes relax. And for this exercise, with your eyes staying closed, I'll ask you to do a strange little exercise that's going to focus you on your body. And the world is going to go away in a moment because what you'll do, you can begin right now, is as you take a deep breath in, imagine that you're not only breathing in through your mouth and through your nose, which of course that's what you're doing physically, but the visualization is you will, as you breathe in and breathe out, breathe in through every pore of your body. Now I know that sounds silly, but if you focus on imagining that you are bringing in oxygen, breathing through every pore of your body, suddenly everything goes away. All other concerns, all other countries, all other issues that are in your mind, it all goes away because it is all bringing your, your awareness to the space that your body occupies. Your mass, your body, is defined within this visualization as you breathe in and breathe out, imagining that you are taking in oxygen through every pore. You'll become very much more aware of the space your body occupies and the borders of that body. Give it a few breaths. Settle into it now as you breathe deeper and slower. Imagining that you're breathing through every pore. And for now, letting the world drop away. The progressive muscle relaxation that we did, just in your hands and your feet, centered you, anchored you in your bed, made you much more aware of your body, raised your consciousness of the feeling of your body, the feeling of occupying the space of your body, what that, what your body feels like, and increasing the relaxation in your body. And this strange breathing visualization where you're bringing in oxygen through your pores will deepen your experience of relaxation and presence and allow you to let go of everything else. It is a meditation in which you are 
totally present and focused on breathing through your pores and with this the power of your imagination you will be more present and you will let go of all other concerns as you concentrate on being in your body present conscious relaxed focused and now heavier warmer relaxed heavier warmer relaxed heavier warmer relaxed let all the tension leave your body wherever you become aware of tension in your body you can now let that go releasing and relaxing tension wherever you find it calm long and relaxed calmer longer and more relaxed heavier warmer and relaxed and breathe in deeply and slowly exhale and breathe in deeper and slowly exhale and enjoy the feeling of your body relaxed long heavy warm and ready to sleep 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 I hope you enjoyed the podcast today uh, as always don't take medical advice from a podcaster if you have some health concerns if you uh, can't sleep there might be some other reasons for it uh, too many stimulants or a sleep disorder possibly so do consult your doctor everybody needs to see their doctor on a regular basis and you should uh, have a in-person consultation if you have any particular health concerns that said you can pick up a lot of great tips for managing stress boosting energy managing time and getting control of your life generally. So for all your stress management needs, do pick up Do The Thing on Amazon by Robert Chute. That's me. And finally, please don't forget to leave a happy review on iTunes or wherever you find your podcasts. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon on the All That Jazz Stress Relief Podcast.